Right, so just making a quick video here to show you how to clone your EWS3 for a BMW E39. So opening your pocket both ways like so and then it pops open. And then you have these four lugs here that you push in. Then you do the same at the bottom, you push in and it will just come through. Okay, so. So that's the uh, Hardware 2, Software 5, EWS 3. So there's a mark right here. That little dot should correspond with this dot. Connect, get a firm, a very firm grip. So now we OK this. Then we go back to MCU. So it gives you an idea of where to look. Okay, so we go to read EWS. Okay, this, okay, that. Pin not touch. Okay, so we need to load the file that we So we go into bin files. And that's the file we want. Open that one and write EWS.
so it's just verifying the files so our write is okay so we've managed to clone so now we go to the car and test it see if it's working on the car so just to verify this one here with the D is the donor it says donor at the back so we put in right so that's in we go with this one and we try it in the car see if it works Right, so that's the position just beneath the steering wheel, and then right here is the original. So we need to verify the plot number. BMW part number beginning six one dot three five. It's exactly the same. So this one with the D is the donor. This one is the donor. So we're going to plug it in. Then we have two more screws to remove. So this one is already written, the car registration. And we just so this this is the original. This is the original EWS with the car registration. And this one is the donor, the one that I bought off eBay and programmed to use with this car. So it's working fine. I've had to make a new key for it. So it's all good. Right, so that's the new key I've made for it. So we're gonna stick this key in the ignition. Car starts. The car starts. 
can hear the engine running. Alright, so car starts with a new key. 